Welcome everyone to Kentucky Kingdom here in Louisville. We're here to spend an awesome day. Sarah, are you excited for this one? Yeah, I feel like we haven't been here in, well, I guess it's been a year. So. Yeah, we try I to like come back every standard. single year. We got some good rides behind us, like Lightning Run, Storm Chaser, Bryant's here, Tanner's here. Yeah. We've all been here before, but. Yeah. Uh, I'm like weirdly more excited to ride Lightning Run because I feel like I've done so many RMCs lately. I'm, I'm like, I'm ready for a change. I'm very much more excited for Lightning Run. It's I'm, so excited. Good. I'm more excited for Lightning Run too. Lots of lightning run left. But before we do that, it's brutally hot. Let's go to the water park. Hell yeah. <laughs> Tanner, it's like you're back at Dollywood. Cinnamon bread. Huh. And here's that iconic view of the wave pool. And T3, a ride that we have since learned is now defunct. So it's currently standing but not operating. I imagine it'll get removed at some point. All right, you guys know the drill. You gotta go in a locker, because unfortunately, if I put you guys on a water slide, the camera will break, so bye. Hey, welcome back. Oh, my hair's definitely seen better days. Hey. Oh, that is bad. All right, so we did the wave pool. We did the Adventure River, which is awesome. I like that a lot. I've never done one of those. That's fun. Yeah, that thing's great. Uh, so many like cool of water effects and features in that thing. Uh, we also did the Lazy River, and then we did the uh, tornado like funnel slide, which was a really long wait because they didn't have very many tubes, and they were definitely short staffed, and so the dispatch times were really long because you had one person that was doing like the job of two people. We were literally at the front of the line, and it still took almost an hour. It was really, really bad. Uh, also, the music is really, really loud. They have a stage right here. I think that might be new. The water coaster's closed, probably not gonna reopen. The bowl slide over there is closed. Um, deep water dive is closed. That's like the tallest water slide here. Yeah, like people are wandering around the water park looking for stuff to do, and the water slides that are open have really, really long lines. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of worried about like how things are going. I hope that this is not like an accurate representation for how it is all the time. But if it is, then that's really unfortunate. Not great. Yeah. We're gonna stop for lunch before doing some roller coasters. We're gonna eat at Swamp Water Jacks because they have air conditioning here. Thank God. All right, so here's what we got. These are kingdom fries. It's like cheese, bacon, ranch, pretty good. And then these are flatbread pizzas, super flat. Very, very flat, they live up to their name. And they're very plain. Uh, flavor is not super powerful there. They got a handful um, of veggies on Yeah, the veggies are a nice touch. Bryant, how's your burger? It's good. <laughs> is this the line? <laughs> Josh, how's your chicken? I will tell you right now. Ooh, live reaction. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the water is outstanding. Good to hear. Yeah, now that Hershen's in charge, they definitely need to start paying some more attention into the food here at Kentucky Kingdom. I think adding the uh, cinnamon bread stand at the front of the park is a good step in the right direction, but a lot of the food here is very basic. It's like chicken tenders and burgers and fries, which can be good, but a lot of the times they're very, very mediocre. So I would love to see more focus put on that. Yo, what the heck? They painted over the mural that was here. That looks really cool. I mean, granted, it was never in like the best spot because this planner always got in the way for the photo ops, but still, it was a really cool design. First roller coaster of the day is gonna be Kentucky Fire. We found Peter! I found y'all. I was at Double Dogs. Shout out to Double Dogs. Whoever knows what that is. Um, oh, it's a walk on. And hey, shout out to you because we haven't seen you in like a year. I so I've seen y'all. I missed y'all. I know. Good, to, good to have you back. And uh, great, to back. great to make an appearance. We gotta do more parks together, dude. We will. That's why. That's why I'm quitting my job. <laughs> He's like shout out to Double Dogs, but also I'm leaving Double Dogs. Give a little love, a little hate. You know. <laughs> what is this? It's like so faded. You can't even see it anymore. That's just sad, man. You know the funny part is that I was going to sit there and he traded with me. And now he's stuck. But he's stuck. Sorry y'all, I'm stuck. It's on us. Our fire our operations will be temporarily delayed due to technical difficulties. <laughs> you hear that, Peter? You're a technical difficulty. We have the appropriate personnel on the way to handle this situation. Maintenance has arrived uh, to begin the process they were just of freeing oh, yeah. Peter. Thank you, sir. All right. Oh, they got it. Hey! For our wonderful native Peter Schwab's recommendation, we are doing a lightning run next because 
He claims that once the water park closes, everyone comes straight here and the line will get really long. He said this is the optimal time to ride this, right? This is a pretty optimal time. I mean, maybe an hour ago too, but this, this is like, we're getting to the end of optimal time for the lightning run. You feel me? Yes. Storm Chaser should stay short. Okay, well, well, we'll go there next, but I'm really excited to ride this thing. Yo, what happened to this one? There's not even a lap bar. <laughs> Okay, first ride done on Lightning Run, and the way we all kind of described it is it feels kind of like the greatest hits of a lot of different coaster manufacturers. So the track looks like Arrow, the seat belts look like intimate seat belts, it runs like an RMC, the trains look the train, a lot the like The underside train. of those trains are very similar to RMC second gen trains. Yeah, and the very, way the airtime, yeah, the way the airtime hits, like it literally, yeah. like the sharp ejector pops are like, now I'm remembering why Taylor does this, I'm like shorter than everybody, so I have to like raise my hand so <laughs> The axles have a bearing that like move back and forth like this, just like the new gen oh RMC gosh. trains, like that's, I don't know if that's like where they got the idea from, but it's extremely similar to like the trains on like Steel Vengeance and like that. I just had a realization. Jefferson, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not a mess right now at all. And you're rocking a T4 shirt. Woo! Perfect. Is this your way of mourning the loss of T3? No, he almost brought flowers. I almost for brought the ride. flowers. <laughs> and on the way here, I was like, I can't do it. I kind of wish I have you had. Heard, I've seen pictures of people leaving flowers. This made me very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, before you enter the bridge, we have a brand new place to eat. It's El Nacho, which naturally serves nachos. Wait, and that replaced the pretzel place. They're really calling it El Nacho. El Nacho, yeah. <laughs> Some of these, like, places, like these Mexican places, are just so creative. It's like La Tequila or something. I'm like, El Nacho. Taco Tequila! <laughs> and here's our new pretzel place. This used to be the home of the hot chicken, which Jefferson is very sad to see gone. And after a long day being out in the sun, I just want to cool off and watch Save My Part. Where? Where? Oh, oh no. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. We put it back here. This is where you need to be. Oh. Just come back here. Okay. Okay. This is where you need to be. These are the last ones. You gotta get them. <laughs> <laughs> last three, three merch that exists. <laughs> what? <laughs> Open your box. And if you, like us, didn't get around to riding Soul Spin at Kings Island this year because it wasn't ready, don't worry, you can come here to Kentucky Kingdom, ride the exact same thing. Mile High Falls, an attraction that I've never done, so we're gonna give it a go. Although we did climb it. We did climb it. We've been up there. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh my I'm god. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Like, oh Sarah, no! Sarah! Run! Go, Sarah! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Absolutely soaked. That is one of the wettest rides on the planet. That was like more that wet than so jumping in the wave pool. That was crazy. Like I a shower. There's three <laughs> points where it's insane. So like it drops and like you yeah, get like you spritz and it's not that bad. And you're like, oh, yeah, we're oh, safe. Awesome. And then it like the water hits the wall from like the bridge and it just funnels down on you from entering the bridge it's and like, then the exit like, of the bridge it still it's, keeps coming. It's and like, like the ending scene of Poseidon Spirit yes. Universal, but it like falls on top of it. Yeah, like turns off. <laughs> I um, told them I they were gonna get so soaked, and they were still like absolutely. Oh, let's ride it again! Yeah. Woo. You guys dodged a bullet not doing my life falls. They went again. What? Yeah. Oh, there they go. <laughs> Even though it's not too busy over here, it is nice to see that we do have two trains cycling on Storm Chaser. <laughs> This station is so funny. They don't have speakers, so there's just someone on a megaphone spieling to people. Persian, do something about this. Like, it's gone on for too long. Don't make your employees keep doing this. We just got off two rides there on Storm Chaser in the back car. We have conflicting opinions. We do, we do. I've always been the biggest Storm Chaser fan. Like, maybe not the biggest, that would be him. Yeah. Well, how many rides are you at? Probably four or five thousand. I lost. That's the same. I love this thing. Um, however, I've always said that I liked it more than Twisted Timbers. And
and I think I'm, I take back that statement. I, I do think after these rides, my I like Twisted Timbers more. This ride has stronger elements than Twisted. I get Twisted longer. I get a lot of people like those three Camelbacks. For me, this Camelback you see right behind our heads is like destroys all those three Camelbacks, and the double up on this is better. I mean, the, tr the Trick Track double up is better on this than Twisted Timbers, down definitely. Is crazy. I just the double down I'm, is I'm good. I'm talking element by element, but I get, I get the argument for both sides. They're both in my top 25, very yeah. close. They're both great rides, but we got different opinions. Okay, okay. I think I want to ride my high falls again. <laughs> <laughs> Are both of us, I felt like we like peed in our seats. The second time we rode it, like we got a much bigger splash, and like we I had hit, a waterfall coming off yeah. of my butt. We hit like, the barrel roll, and there's just water everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> right here next to the Larson Loop. This area where they had the drag strip is still sitting empty. I remember years ago, they had a sign saying, fun under construction. And uh, well, I guess it wasn't actually under construction. It was fun to me. It was, it looks pretty fun, you know, for a construction enthusiast. I don't know, I, I still hope that we see like some smaller flat rides here. That would really liven up this area. Cause right now, no one rides the Larson Loop. No one wants to ride the Larson Loop, except hey, for Sarah, who's never done a Larson Loop. Right now. I've never done okay. a Larson Loop either. I've said I've I said I will watch, I will watch. Jefferson said he cares a lot about me riding this, so we're gonna do it. Cause I care a lot about Jefferson. Have fun. I'll sit on the bleachers that they got rid of. I'm gonna ride Mile High Falls again. Speechless. Asked them two times how was that Neither time, nobody made it. Hey guys, enjoy this all new RMC. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, see what I did there. <laughs> He just once again asked, how was that ride? And this time people booed. And it wasn't anyone in our group. It was just regular people. That was more fun than Storm Chaser. More fun than Storm Chaser. Yeah. 10 times more fun. I'm glad I did it, but I don't think I'd ever do it again. Here's another example of just a lot of things closed today. What for what I assume is staffing. A lot of the drink stations that we've seen around the park, not open. It's not, it's not, it's not fair. So many memories. Uh, Kentucky Kingdom, what are you doing? You were it once. Twice, because you made me ride it at night. I wanted to leave, and you're like, no, let's ride the T3. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot and about that. <laughs> and here's the station for T3. You can see those orange things right there are wheel covers. Just sitting there on the load platform. If they don't gift a piece of this to Jefferson, like, I will ride. So, this is a Coaster Studios exclusive. Oh. I've actually purchased this roller coaster. <laughs> I bought a plot of land across the street. It's Jefferson's <laughs> Kingdom. Be prepared. T4, this is the announcement. I hope you come ready for T4. I can't wait for it's the news have. to do a story oh, about yeah. this. Oh my gosh, they left a book. <laughs> After nearly 30 years of thrilling riders like yourselves, uh, we have made the difficult decision to retire the T3 roller coaster. No! <laughs> While it's always hard to say goodbye to a beloved ride, we are excited to reinvest resources to further enhance the overall guest experience this season. Please enjoy one of our other five world-class roller coasters, including Storm Chaser, Thunder Ride, and Kentucky Fly, Lightning Raider, and Roller Skater is world-class. The sign is gone! What? No! I need that sign! <laughs> All right, we're on our way out of Kentucky Kingdom. Got a couple rides on everything. Like I said, lighter crowds in the dry park, uh, even though we had to wait a little bit for the water slides and everything. But overall, still always fun to visit. I had so much fun. Yeah, it was a I good day. So much fun today. Mile High Falls is my favorite right here. <laughs> oh, go ahead. How, how many times have you said that in this video? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm like, I'm Cannot stress, stress it right enough. Now, like. Overall, though, you know, uh, I, I do hope that we start seeing some uh, new investments from Hershen soon, like now that the park has uh, is under new ownership. Like I understand. Taking stuff out. Well, yeah, but also like I understand that you sometimes have to remove stuff in order to get stuff. But like you know, it's Where tough when it's it? like the waiting game of like uh, you know seeing how long before that all happens. Uh, I also think that as we are walking around, like some things are maybe not quite as uh, up to what we're used to seeing. Um, again, I know that staffing is a, a big part of that. Uh, which is a, honestly an industry-wide issue at the moment, so it happens, I totally get it. 
Um, but I hope that we start seeing some uh, uh, cool stuff here in the future. Again, mainly just like, I'm really just curious about that T3 plot of land. Thanks for coming to the Keys of the Kingdom 2023 video. So you much already, Like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Have a great one. We'll see you here in 2024. We'll see you here in 2024. Bye. 2024.